I think a lot of parents aren't aware of how dangerous button batteries are. When we look at them, they're lovely and pretty and they sort of look a bit like a coin. In fact, I think for a child, it looks a little bit like something to play with. And the children that tend to swallow button batteries, they're attracted to this because they're exploring. They're often really young children. They might be two or three years of age. They often can't speak very well in terms of expressing what they might have done or what they're feeling. But any child that's expressing chest pain or showing difficulty breathing, any child that's pushing away food, refusing food or showing lots of drooling, or any child that has a, a really yucky vomit that's got red or black in it, or a really yucky poo that's got red or black in it, these are some of the key signs of a button battery having been swallowed. So when a child swallows a button battery, they've swallowed something that has electrical current that can flow through it. And the button battery is perfectly sized to lodge in the swallowing tube, the esophagus. And as soon as that lodging happens, the current starts to flow and the burn starts. This is really dangerous. This is burning holes into the swallowing tube, it can burn through into major blood vessels, and it can cause death and it can do all of that within two hours. It's a really dangerous moment, and it's happening for 20 children in Australia every week. Any parent who thinks that their child has swallowed a button battery should bring their child to the closest hospital. The clock is ticking, the minutes are racing, and we need to get that child asleep and to use a gentle grabbing instrument that looks straight down the swallowing tube, takes hold of it and pulls it out. We can see and hear the fizzing of the button battery as we're doing that. We feel our own heart rate raising because we understand the severity and the significance of this moment. So the, the key message for parents is to rebrand button batteries as poisons. We need to think of them as those dangerous medicines, those chemicals we have in and around our home but are kept strictly away from children. We need to be mindful around where we keep spare button batteries. This is not for the cutlery drawer. This is not for the hardware cupboard in the laundry. Uh, this is for up high, out of reach in a locked cabinet. People all often ask me, where, where are button batteries in our home? And I think we almost have to ask, where aren't button batteries in our home? They're all through our life. They're in our key hobs, they're in our TV remotes, but they're also in the toys that many of our children play with because they drive functions of the toys. And this is why the battery compartment is secured with a screw. That's required by Australian standards. If we choose to buy something through the internet that somehow evades Australian standards, we might be bringing in a dangerous toy. We need to be aware of the risks that are there and we need to help people to understand that button batteries may look like a pretty penny, but they're really poisons.